Hello folks, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist at Quest. This video shows how data from the dimensional viewer in Toad Data Point can be exported or published for further exploration. It is assumed for this video that you are familiar with the dimensional viewer and have an active connection to Toad Intelligence Central Server. As we can see on screen, I have a saved dimensional viewer uh, where we have explored data from a particular table. So looking at these individual tables, we may want to export all of these uh, so that we can further explore them. Uh, for this, we can come to the bottom and choose Export All. What this does is open up a window uh, that gives you, uh, in this case, just the Excel option, and we will see why in a second. But uh, we can choose the location of the file. So let's go ahead and rename this uh, Dimensional Toad Export. And you can choose to append a date time if you choose. Uh, you can also overwrite the file. Um, so for each one of the tables in the dimensional viewer, you have a tab in Excel. And that's why it's only export in Excel if you want to export all the data. So for each one of these, you can look at uh, information about uh, each one of these tabs. You can sort through it. Um, for this particular one, we can see a warning that says we only have 31 characters in Excel, so we can rename this, uh, and let's go ahead and just cut out a portion of it. Created at, and then underscore row count, count, <clears throat> so that way we don't get uh, uh, the name of the tab truncated. And if we were not overwriting, there would be options here in the grayed out area for uh, appending if we had run this previously, so where we want to append the data to, etc. And then you have options for the header file as well. I'm going to go ahead and export this. And it's exported it out to the file that we chose. I'm going to go ahead and open it from the window. And we can see we've exported the data. Uh, in each individual tab, and this tab has been renamed. So now we have our data in an Excel format, which is good. We can continue on with our exploration. Uh, but perhaps we want to export just a single table. So for that, we can right click in a table. So we have several options. Um, first, we can choose Export and the Export Wizard. And this gives you the most options for your output. So as you can see, we have CSV, fixed width, XML, uh, Excel, SharePoint, etc. I'm going to use CSV and I'm going to choose the default options, but the, you have options as far as um, the output of the data itself. And you have your typical uh, select columns, etc. I won't go into the details because that's covered in another video on the export wizard, but again we can choose the the location of the file itself uh, and we could choose to export other objects at this point. I'm going to go ahead and finish and again we've exported this single table and it's using Excel to open it but it is a comma separated value file. We also have the option to export uh, using the quick export. So file, it gives you the option to export to Excel, CSV, and HTML. Um, and this basically will just export with a uh, the date timestamp. Uh, so you don't get to name the file in this case. And it just saves it to the default file location. Um, you also have the ability to use quick export to export to instances of Excel. So this, if I had Excel already open, it would, at the active cell, it would open up a new instance, etc. You can also choose either a chart or a pivot table. I'll real quick open it to a pivot table. And this will allow me to, of course, uh, start dropping in values into my pivot table and continue my exploration of the data. And since this is opening up an instance, it's not saved automatically. It's just opened up in a book one uh, Excel workbook. So if I don't save changes, uh, it will be gone. Now let's look at publishing the data. So 
if I want to publish all the data in this dimensional viewer, uh, like I did with the export, I can choose publish data. And this obviously only applies if you have Toad Data Point Pro and a connection to a Toad Intelligence Central server. But in this case, I'm connecting out to my Toad Intelligence Central server. Uh, I can do the typical uh, data set uh, sharing options as far as um, choosing folders, connections, etc. Uh, the one unique value is the publish data option. So here um, you're publishing three specific data sets. So if you wanted to choose just two of them, you could obviously exclude one uh, and you can rename the value of the data set here. Uh, I'm going to leave these default, but <clears throat> this is where you actually affect the names and descriptions of each one of the individual data sets. And as I've ran this demo in the past, it's telling me that I need to overwrite if I want to publish these. And I can go ahead and publish them now. And it's publishing all the data sets out to Toad Intelligence Central Server. These are individual data sets that have been published. If I wanted to publish just one data set, uh, again, I have the option to right click and choose send to. And now I can simply uh, publish the container. So this is looking at a single table and now I can name it uh, whatever I want, just like I did in the past. Uh, let's demo one, two, three. And overwrite existing, I can choose my share options and publish. And it's also been published. So hopefully this helped shed some light on how you can export and publish your data from a dimensional viewer so that you can continue your exploration of the data. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash toad data point. You can also check out the community driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. Thank you and have a great day.